Andrew, thank you so much for coming in today. I'm really excited to be able to interview you. Mm -hmm. All right. So just uh, to start out, tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay. Yeah, I'm Drew. I um, go to school at Murray State, uh, majoring um, in computer science, and I like to hike and uh, play video games. Okay. Uh, why are you interested in working in our department? Um, I heard y'all just have like really good benefits and pay the students really well, and so I really want a good job that pays me really well while I'm in college. All right, what computer skills do you have? Yeah, uh, I, I actually have really good computer skills. I actually have photoshopped um, Baby Yoda coming out of Wanda Maximoff's hands to the sound of Agatha all along, so I feel like that's pretty dope. Okay, and uh, what are your strengths and weaknesses? Okay, my greatest strength would be like me. I'm just like an awesome person. Um, weakness would probably be like that I care too much. I should probably like not care as much. Okay, uh, and just to round this out, I think we can go ahead and finish early. Do you have any questions for us? Yeah, so I did want to know how much I get paid. I did want to know about the time off, and I wanted to know if I could have this. Okay. Hey, Drew, thank you so much for coming in to speak to us today. No problem, thanks so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely. Uh, go ahead and tell me a little bit about yourself. All right, yeah, so my name is Drew. I'm a senior at Murray State University, and I'm majoring in computer science. I'm involved with many things on campus, such as my fraternity and other extracurricular activities. Um, and with those extracurricular activities, I do a lot of graphic design and social media stuff and get graphics and video ready for promo items. But on top of that, I also have worked for about two to three years at the student help desk with IT helping students and other people with computer problems. All right. Uh, why are you interested in working for our department? Oh, so I'm actually very excited about this opportunity to interview with you today because I've been a big fan of your company. I followed your company ever since I was back in high school. And then when we came to Murray, we actually passed the building where y'all are housed. And I was like, oh, I didn't know they had a branch here. So I was super excited. And so ever since then, I wanted to um, come and work here because I know you all value innovation and technology. And I know the two together are really awesome and things that I value. So I wanted to come work for a company that uh, had the same ones. Okay. Uh, what computer skills do you have? Yeah, so as I kind of mentioned, I do a lot of video editing and Photoshop. Um, that's mainly um, my main area of expertise, but I do know some different languages as well, like Python and Java, um, and I'm learning um, some other ones as well. So that's kind of the extent of my computer skill. Okay. Uh, can you tell me your strengths and your weaknesses? Yeah, so I think my strengths is that I'm actually a very detail-oriented person when it comes to coding or even um, making graphics. You have to kind of look out for the little details because something small can throw off everything. So I'm really good at that. I'm really good at catching those details and making sure everything is on point. Um, as for my weakness, um, I'm really bad at time management. Sometimes I can let things overwhelm me. I can take on too much. So to combat that, I'm really learning to try to say no to the things I need to say no to, but on top of that, prioritizing um, myself with the schedule and sticking to that schedule to make sure everything is done. Okay, and then just to kind of wrap this up, uh, mm -hmm. do you have any questions for us? Yes, uh, definitely. I wanted to know, one thing is, uh, what's your favorite part about working for this company? Um, I would love to hear from someone who, who works here. I wanted to know the expectations that you had um, for this position um, coming in as well as just what are the next steps in the process. Great, well, let's go ahead and dive into that. Hey everyone, we wanted just to pop on really quickly and talk to you a little bit about Zoom when it comes to interviewing. So there's several different things that you wanna keep in mind. The first thing is to look at the camera when you're actually speaking to each individual. For instance, if I look down at Travis here in the screen, it looks like I'm looking down at my computer screen. But when I lift my eyes up to the camera, clearly it looks like I'm speaking to you, the individual. 
And that's what you want to get across. If it helps you, you can actually put a post-it note next to your camera screen or maybe put some kind of circular shape around it. Anything that's gonna help you to be reminded to look at the camera when you're speaking to the individuals. That's gonna go very far when it comes to Zoom meetings. A second thing that you wanna do is to make sure that you have a very neutral, clear, cleared out background. So what I mean by this is make sure you don't have a lot of art on the walls maybe or posters or things that the interviewer may get distracted by. Um, you wanna make sure that you have a nice cleaned up space that your camera meets you at eye level and that you uh, remove any distractions from the room as well. So that could be pets, that could be you know, your roommates, any individuals, um, that could be silencing your phone, um, anything of that nature. You wanna make sure that you're clearing those things out of the room so that you have a great space that's set up that's quiet so that you can truly focus on what you're doing. You can have your resume and your notes in front of you. You can have a drink of water. All of these things can help enhance your interview. But keep those things in mind when it comes to the camera, when it comes to your screen, and you should really go far. All right, I'm now gonna hand it over to Drew, who's gonna to talk to you a little bit about your actual presence when it comes to interviewing on Zoom. Thanks, Hannah. Yes, so when it comes to your actual presence when interviewing on Zoom, some things to keep in mind is one, make sure you are smiling and actively listening to what the other person is saying and engaging in the conversation. And that doesn't have to be through word and verbal of what you're saying, but also nodding your head and letting them know that you are listening even um, through the computer screen. Do make sure you have really great posture and you're sitting upright. You want to make sure that um, even though it is online that you are still presenting yourself in a very professional manner. And as silly as it is to say, do make sure you are dressing all the way, even though they probably will only see your top half. Don't dress just from the top half from your interview. Dress the whole way. That way you can get yourself in that professional mindset. And just as a courtesy for the person that you were interviewing with to show that you do care and that you did take the time to get ready for this interview. Well, other than that, I'm going to hand it over to Travis so he can talk about the technical side of things that you might uh, run into with Zoom or online interviewing. Yeah, so when you're using Zoom for your interviews, there's a lot of technology that you got to be aware of. Of course, Hannah talked about having a nice neutral background, but you can also set like a virtual background that I'm using here. Uh, of course, you got to have an updated Zoom platform for it. Um, you also have had you also had to have a computer that will run it, but that's something cool that you can do. And uh, you'll actually find it here down in your bottom video if you bring that up. You'll see choose virtual background, and you'll be able to click on that, and you can actually set you know a background like this or whatever you want. Um, there are a few things also to look at. Down here at the bottom, you can see your participant list. That'll bring up. There we go. That'll bring up the list of people who are participating in your Zoom call. Uh, then there's a chat system here. So if you want to click on that, um, you can see Hannah send us all a message saying, hello, everyone, please drop your contact information in the chat. I could then type in my email, phone number, where that might be and drop it there. Uh, of course, there's other functions as well, depending on which end of Zoom that you're on, if you're the host, you'll see record buttons, breakout room buttons and things as well. Uh, then of course, the share screen button. Now, if you're not the host, you won't see some of those things. You will see that share screen button, but you may not be able to do it until the host lets you have access to that. But if you do have the share screen function, it's super easy. All you do is click on that and then you can share whatever screen here that you want. But that's kind of the technical sides of Zoom. Now, there are a few other things, such over here in the bottom left, you'll see the mute button and stop video button. These are very important, especially in, when you're in a Zoom call with multiple people. It's always a good practice just to mute yourself whenever other people are talking. And then, of course, being able to stop your video if you need to as well. And then another cool function, you can actually change your name if you need to sometimes. Like with our system, you have like a default name set here. Mine's Travis Lee Plunkett. Uh, sometimes I may just want to remove, you know, my middle name. So I just click these three dots up here and I just hit that rename. And then I can change my name right here. And then there we go. So then my name's changed at that point. It's what I want it to be. But yeah, that's a little bit about Zoom and some of the technical side of things. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Yeah.